If you'd like to see how I embellished this royal crown apple bottle with this lovely green glitter, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube! So today I am going to be embellishing another crown royal bottle with glitter this time. Instead of the rhinestones and pearls, I'm going to do glitter because she gave me two bottles to do and I could do whatever I want to them. So I decided to go ahead and do, use glitter on one. I've never used this we'll green glitter, glitter before. Mod Podge glue. And today, instead of sealing with Mod Podge glue, I'm gonna do I'm something a little bit different. I'm going to seal the glitter today with this Mod Podge Gloss Clear Acrylic Sealer. So we'll see how that works. I've used it in the past, probably once, didn't really care for it. I thought it was kinda, I thought it made my project a little cloudy, but I'm gonna try it again and we'll see how that works out. Okay, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started. You'll need everything you see here, and you will need a sponge. For some reason, I just need to get some more sponges, so it's kinda hard and it has some glitter in it, but it'll be fine, because this is what I have. I poured a little bit of the Mod Podge in this little lid already, so we're just gonna go ahead and get started. I have already wiped off the bottle. You know I like to wipe things off before I do anything to the surface. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start at the bottom. You want to just go ahead and apply a nice, generous amount of glue to the bottle and try your best not to get any on the label. If you do, you could just wipe it off and it'll be just fine. I like to go in sections so it does the glue doesn't dry out and get clumpy or rubbery. And you can use a smaller brush so that you can get in those little teeny tiny areas but I just kind of take the corner of the sponge brush and I just kind of get in really, really, really close. Okay. So you just kind of do section by section. That's the best way to go. I like to start at the bottom. And I purchased this pound of glitter. It's, um, it's called Green. It's no special name to it. Um, like usually it's like a special name. So I purchased this off papermart.com for about 10 bucks. I couldn't find a plain piece of paper so I just have this one here. Just gonna go ahead and pour a glitter on. Another thing I like to have is an old makeup brush just to knock off any excess glitter. All right, so Oh, this glitter is so pretty. Okay, I like this. So what I do is I just brush it just like that, just so I can see where I need to add more glue and glitter. All right, so this is how this is looking right now. And, and you I like see it. this bottle has a lot of texture in it. There's a lot of um, detail in the bottle, which when I embellished this with rhinestones and pearls, it, it kind of gave me, it was kind of difficult, so this is not laying flat in those areas, not because the glue is clumpy or the glitter is clumpy, it's because of the texture of the bottle. So just keep that in mind. But I really like how this looks so far. You may not like that, like this, because the label has so much green in it and then the bottle's green, but that's fine. That's the, the wonderful thing about this. You can use any color glitter that you decide. Any color, you, you can do blue paint, whatever you want, you can do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue and you can just go ahead.
So just continue to work the glue evenly around the bottle. Be careful around the label. So what we're doing, we're just still adding on the first layer of glitter on the entire bottle. Okay, so this is the first layer of glitter. We're gonna go ahead and let this dry, then come back and lay on a second layer. Okay, now that this first layer has dried, we're gonna go ahead and add more Mod Podge onto this and sprinkle on the second layer of glitter. And don't worry because the glitter does dry clear. So we're just gonna sprinkle it right on top of this. Okay, this is the second layer of glitter. We're gonna go ahead and let this dry. Then we're gonna seal it with the acrylic sealant spray. So I'm gonna give this at least an hour to just sit. This is two coats of glitter, fully dry. And I went over it with this old makeup brush and just kind of dusted off whatever isn't really sticking. Okay. Again, like I said, some people don't even seal their glitter. Um, I didn't say that, but some people don't seal their glitter. And it's nice and sparkly and cute, but it's a whole mess because glitter is constantly falling off. You don't want that issue. So there's other options. Um, in my other videos, I have sealed with my Podge with a, a, in a cup with a little bit of water and a little bit of extra glitter, the color I'm using. I've sealed it that way. I found that it's not as sparkly, so I wanna try something different, like I said, because I do have this my Podge gloss spray and it's a clear acrylic sealer. So I'm just shaking it up. They suggest that you give it a shake for about at least 60 seconds. This stuff is very strong. I wanted to do the, the video showing you how I'm gonna spray it outside, but it's gotten so dark because it gets dark so early. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spray a little bit in the house um, over this little wax paper and stuff I have because I don't wanna make a mess on this table. Then off camera, I'll go outside and spray a couple more layers of this on. Then once it dries, I'll show you the final result. So just kind of remember how it looks now. So we can just kind of test and see if this acrylic um, if this acrylic sealer is going to make the glitter look dull. I'm hoping that it won't. I've heard people say that they like this sealer and it works fine for them. So I've given it a nice shake. Ooh, this stuff is so strong. So if you ever smell clear spray paint or some type of spray paint that you're supposed to spray outside, that's what it smells like. So I have to, and it also smells like um, fingernail polish and fingernail polish remover. Everything's super strong that you don't need to breathe in. That's what it smells like. Okay, so I got my fan blowing. I'm gonna let this dry. And then I'll come back and show you how that first little squirt looks. Then I'll go outside and do it some more, then I'll show you the after So I did have that. it in front of my little fan drying. Little, little bits of glitter still coming off. You can go with one coat if you want to, but I'm gonna run outside and spray it, then let it dry and then we'll do another test. Well, let me just show you like this piece of blank paper. piece of paper. I just wanna do a little test to kind of show where we at here. 
It's not too bad. I'm gonna show it to you. It's not too bad. See, the fall off is very minimal. But I'm gonna run out here and I'm gonna spray it one more time and okay, that should be so cool. Okay, so this is still um, wet. I just sprayed a hefty amount on here um, outside. So I'm gonna let this dry. And then I think that should be the final coat. And then I'll do the brush test on a white piece of paper and show you all. Um, okay, so I let the second coat dry in front of my little fan here for at least an hour and a half to two hours. And from what I see here, it still looks very shiny. It still looks very sparkly. I think it looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the white paper test, which is going to be me taking this brush. And I made sure I got all the glitter if you could see that, let's see. Uh-oh. I made sure I got all the glitter out of the brush because you know I've been using this um, to make sure that any excess glitter was knocked off. It might be a little wet because I just wiped it off with a damp paper towel to get all the glitter off. I'm just gonna do a little brush test to see. So let's just see here. It's, if anything is coming off. And so far, we looking real good over here, y'all. Okay, I might have to use this little spray more often. Maybe I just didn't do it right the first time because I didn't, I didn't care for it. We looking real good. I don't really have anything on here but little brush particles and maybe eight little bitty pieces of glitter. So... That's not bad. And I really like how it's really still giving shine. When I use the Mod Podge, I wish I had something here that I've done, but all that stuff already gave it away. But usually when I use the Mod Podge, I can kind of noticeably see that it's just a little thick and it's just not as shiny. So I like how shiny this is. I really do. So you guys, let me know what Everything. you think. This spray before, where is that? All right, you guys, so this is the spray that I used. This was about $8 at Walmart. I wanna say about $8.99. I bought this like probably two years ago. Okay, and this is a 12 ounce can. Um, again, very, it's toxic. It smells, so if you can spray it outside, do that. Then, of course, to go ahead and add the glue, I did use regular Mod Podge. Um, this is probably about 10 bucks for the 16 ounce jar from Walmart as well. This is the gloss kind, so make sure you get gloss. So that's what I use. And then in this next clip, I'm just gonna give you just a cute little close up so you can really get a nice feel for the outcome. Here is the final look of the Crown Royal Apple Whiskey Bottle and I think it looks very, very nice. This green glitter is lovely. I'm so glad I decided to go with this green glitter. I think red would be also a really great color to do as well, but this apple with this green is just great and it's still so shiny. I like this spray and I think I will use it from now on. Like I said, if you're gonna use it, make sure you step outside, use it in a very well ventilated area. But I think this is just amazing. Let me know what you guys think. And again, just to recap, I did use Mod Podge to apply the glitter, but I sealed it with the Mod Podge Gloss Acrylic Sealer. And I have a little sneak peek surprise for you guys. I did another bottle as well. I used pearls and rhinestones to do that bottle. Make sure you guys check that video out. Make sure you guys check out that video as well. I will have this all in a playlist so you can check out all of the liquor bottles and wine bottles that I've embellished. I hope you received some type of inspiration. Thank you guys again for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it on Facebook with someone who you think may enjoy this video also. Subscribe if you want to. And thanks again. Bye-bye. And look at the colors on these bottles, you guys. Doesn't this remind you of like a Mardi Gras type theme? So if you're gonna have a Mardi Gras party, consider doing something like this for your party. This will be really cute to sit on the tables for your setup. Okay, bye-bye.